Hi guys and welcome in today's session. Today we're going to talk about scoliosis, how to diagnose it, and exercises that you can do to improve function and to decrease your pain due to scoliosis. So what scoliosis is, is an abnormal curvature of the spine. It can either be in a C shape, like from the thoracic to the lumbar, or it can be in an S shape, from the thoracic to the lumbar. What happens is that it always has like one convex side and one concave side. The convex side is the side that lies on the outside. So in this uh, instance, it's for example, the right side and the concave side is the side on the inside, which in this case is the left side. The reason why it's very important to treat scoliosis early on is because if you do have it, it can cause a lot of like arthritic changes in your spine that are irreversible. So if you do have poor posture and you feel pain in your back, maybe try and check if you do have it or not. There's also two main uh, types of scoliosis. There is one that is idiopathic that um, you will usually notice around 11 to 12 years old. And uh, there is another one that is postural that can appear at any time in your life due to poor posture. The first one, which is also like an idiopathic one, which means that they don't know why uh, it happens, is very difficult to treat and exercises only help like with pain management and with uh, preventing the curve to degrade more. However, the postural scoliosis is completely reversible if you stick to your exercise plan and if you do your exercise at least like once every day. Okay, so how do we test it? How do we know if we have it? There is two main tests that are used and I will show that to you right now. Keep feet shoulder length apart and reach towards your toes. Now here, whichever side is up, is the side where you have the convexity. In this case, is the right side. If you have severe scoliosis, the side will be further up and it will be very normal. In the second test, we're noticing the space between the body and the arms. Uh, if you do see here, the triangular space between the trunk and the arms is bigger on the left side. This indicates that the curvature is concave on the lumbar spine. So we did have a right convex thoracic spine that was minimal, but we do have quite a bit of a concave lumbar scoliosis. For this exercises, you're gonna need an elastic band, you're gonna need a yoga block, and you're gonna need some weights. Let's start with the first exercise to stabilize our pelvis. We're gonna uh, tie up the elastic band around our thighs and we're gonna go face down. We wanna do 30 repetitions on each thigh. So we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to turn towards the side and we're going to do the same thing here. We want to make sure that the thigh is backwards and it's not coming in front because otherwise we're going to activate muscles that we don't need to activate. So we go backwards and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're just gonna release the elastic band. And in my case, as I previously mentioned, the scoliosis is lumbar and is uh, lumbar thoracic, sorry, and is a C-shape with the concave side in the left. So I want to make sure that I'm stretching that side because I'm like this and I want to go the opposite way to create length. I'm going to take the yoga block and I'm going to put it just underneath like my abdomen between my hips and my shoulders and I'm going to bring my other hand on top. Now if you do feel like this doesn't cause enough stretch for you, you can take another yoga block, put it on top and go in this position. This actually creates way more stretch for me and it's so relaxing and because these are conditions that uh, are very prolonged so like you've been taking and keeping that position for such a long time these muscles are really tight so here you do need a full minute stretch and maybe three four repetitions before you can go through the other exercises right because you have been keeping that position for a long time you have tightened those muscles very much and they do need a prolonged stretch so we're going to keep it for about one minute now but if you're doing the exercise at home, try to do three, four repetitions, hold each repetition for one minute and maybe take a 30 second break in between each repetition. Now from here, you can go a little bit backwards and feel if there's any tightness in the front of your body or you can go a little bit forwards. And again, here you check if there's any tightness in your body. Everyone's scoliosis is a little bit different. So you might have certain muscles that are more tight in the back or in the front. So we go again a little bit in the back and a little bit in the front. Okay. Now we're gonna come back into a sitting position and check with yourself. Does that make your pain better? Does that make your body feel good? And that's the biggest indicator because sometimes you might do a mistake and you don't really know where your scoliosis is, but if exercise improves your pain significantly, then you're doing the right thing. You want to do about 50 repetitions of the pelvic drop exercise. You're going to have uh, on the step the side that is uh, the biggest of the triangles. So in my case, the side with the biggest triangle was the left side and you're going to go down without touching the ground with the right foot. One of the most important stretches in scoliosis is the L stretch. You're going to bring your hips towards the wall and you're going to straighten up your knees and then you're going to start pulling your toes towards your legs. This creates a lot of stretching in your calf muscles, in your thighs and also helps stabilize the pelvis. You want to hold this stretch for at least three to five minutes and you want to make sure that you do feel that big tension in behind your thighs and behind your calf muscles. The next exercise is for the shoulder blades. Now, this is very important because the shoulder blades are connected to the thoracic spine. So every time that we do have scoliosis, there is going to be some involvement of the shoulder blades. For this exercise, you're gonna be face down, you're gonna need weights. You can start with one kilogram or two kilograms, and then you can progress to up to five kilograms or even more, depending on your body strength. So we're gonna go face down, and what we're doing is exercises that are called T's and Y's. These are amazing to work with the middle and with the lower traps and really create the stability in your shoulder blades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can relax. Once we are in this position, we're just gonna go and just stretch towards the left and keep it for about 30 seconds to one minute. And we can come back here. Okay, now we're gonna go forward and towards the right side. Again, here we're stretching the low back on the left. And we want to hold the stretch for about 30 seconds to one minute and repeat it three, four times a day. And come back into the sitting position. And again, check with your body how you're feeling. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today and have an amazing day.